Local physicians are seeing more cases of walking pneumonia this year, especially among young kids. However, it's not unexpected. The problem is in different years, there's more of it or less of it. We think quite a bit of it is caused by a, an unusual bacterial germ called mycoplasma pneumoniae. And mycoplasma seems to be increased this year. The mycoplasma bacteria is most commonly spread through cough droplets, meaning that heavily populated areas like schools are common places for it to spread. In most cases, though, if it's contracted, it's likely not a serious concern. The danger of it is much less than other forms of pneumonia. Now, there are rare children, and we've had several in the hospital lately. There are rare children who will have other complications that we think are caused by mycoplasma, but that's balanced against hundreds and hundreds who just get better even without treatment and, and possibly thousands more who have had mycoplasma and didn't even know it and got better. Common symptoms can include sore throat, low-grade fever, and or a persistent cough. For children ages 4 and under, symptoms can also include wheezing or even vomiting. The preventative measures are similar to those for a common cold, though. To the extent we can, teaching our children to cough in our elbow, cough in a Kleenex, wash your hands frequently. The standard kind of things that, that, that actually make a lot of sense. You know, this is one of those common things you see, though, during cold and flu season. Mycoplasma or walking pneumonia happens to be more common in the United States right now, uh, which is not terribly unusual. Now, Dr. Weinberg also suggests a few other tips that can help prevent atypical or walking pneumonia. Eating healthy and staying hydrated, especially when those around you are getting sick, and staying up to date on recommended vaccinations, including the flu shot, are important. These can help lessen the severity of the disease should you contract it. Reporting in studio, Ryan Hermanette, News 8.